This is Charles for Premier Guitar. I'm here with Phil X, and I'm here with Richard Goodsell. Hi, everybody. And we're hanging at the LA Amp Show 2011. And uh, Richard's got some new wares that he's going to tell us about. And uh, this is a more affordable line for you, huh? Yes, Charles, it is. Um, the black line features four models that we've all seen before, but we have <clears throat> new global sourcing of our cabinets and our plastic parts, enabling me to build and sell these things for many hundreds of dollars less than I did last year. In any color you want, as long as it's black. Henry, Henry Ford would be uh, proud, right? Henry Ford, yeah, he's a hero of mine, yeah. That's, uh, there's, there's no question about it. Um, but What's special about these dudes here? The most special thing about them is that in the extreme cases of the 17 and the Valpro, they cost $500 less than before. Other than that, they are remarkable in that they, are, they sound identical and play identical to the ones that preceded them. And, of course, you can still get, the, uh, you can still get snake skin and alligator if you want, but you have to go back to the old price list. But the beautiful thing about it is, is I'm, as I'm trying to adapt to these challenging uh, you know, economic times that everybody's in, and, and these are kind of a, a, you know, these aren't a live or die commodity. These are a luxury items, so I'm trying to make them more affordable. And um, so I'm going from an average price point of 2000 down to the, around the $1,500 mark and below. And hopefully that makes these amps more accessible to people who might otherwise consider another brand that's made in another country, and we don't want that to happen. Right. All right, cool. Now we got this 17 plugged in here. Uh, anything you want to tell us about this guy in particular that's before the, we hear it? The Venerable 17, that is the one that started it all, and it is still pretty much the same as it always was. This amp here is based heavily on the Mark III. The only difference is, is it lacks the 517 switch, but otherwise it's absolutely identical to its predecessor. Um, it features a speaker made by my friends at Warehouse Guitar Speakers uh, and, of course, domestically sourced uh, output transformers, as always. And um, uh, it's just it's a banging amp. And just as like it always, this is you know you guys gave this amp five picks back in the day, so you know it's it's still that amp. It's, a, it's back again. All right. Um, anyway, let's hear Phil uh, have a bash with this thing. <laughs> Tremless. Tremless. Nice word. Trem free. Trem free is another nice word. Richard, my goodness. Let's play this one. Yeah, let's try another one. What do you say? Richard, what we got on the wire here? Well, we have the dominatrix, and any time I can say the word dominatrix on tape, it's a special occasion. Uh, this amp was introduced a couple of years ago, and this is the new black version of it. Uh, identical in every way to its predecessor, except it's only available in black. And uh, it's uh, it shares a lot of the same components as the Super 17, but it has a complex two gain stage front end and a full tone stack, bass, mid, and treble, uh, which makes it somewhat gainier than the 17 uh, in a happy, fun way. Um, it draws its influence from amps like the Watkins Dominator or the, um, uh, the Marshall 18. It's that, uh, it's, it's that amp that's in the 18 watt class that I always avoided comparing the 17 to because I think of the 18 as a different family of sounds. but. Uh, Anyway, why don't we let Mr. X... Phil X, get back here. Rock it up. Just one single P90. Rock and roll. <laughs> that's, that's Draximus. Yeah. 
What does Draximus think of this? Uh, Draximus likes it very much. He's not very uh, angry right now. Yeah, he sounds pretty pleased to me. All right. He's satisfied. Richard, man, where should everybody go to check all the rest of this stuff out and everything else you have in the works? You know, you've asked me that question before. And the answer. Don't say. <laughs> the answer is still the same. We want you to go to www.goodsalamps.com. And actually, the website is brand new or probably under construction. Hopefully, it's new. By the time you see this, it'll be a new website featuring new talent and uh, new pictures and more details on the black line. Phil X could not be happier, <laughs> nor could we here at PremierGuitar.com. This is Charles with for Phil X, Richard Goodsell. You guys rock. Signing off from the LA Amp Show 2011. <laughs>